And we have another tribute to peace, this time built on five continents. Right now a Buddha statue in Japan, a monument to two ancient emperors in China and the motherland in Ukraine are the three tallest monuments in the world. But very soon the 135 metre kind angel of peace will overshadow them. Let's take a look. The tallest world sculpture, King Angel of Peace, with a height of 135 meters, will be built on five continents. The environmental organization Terra Viva initiated the construction of the first angel five years ago to unite all people with the idea of kindness and peace. This idea of uniting people living according to the principles of goodness and justice came on the eve of the third millennium. There is a need to create a unifying moral principle, and so a symbol was created, the kind angel of peace. The author and chief architect of the international project is the honored Russian artist Peter Stronsky. For the first, King Angel of Peace will come to Europe. It will be constructed on the island of Cyprus. The other four continents have not decided on a place yet. The architectural and monumental King Angel of Peace will consist of a base with a transparent sphere that is 49 meters high and the figure of an angel standing 86 meters tall. Special illumination will make the work visible even from space. Inside the sculpture, there will be a hotel or a concert hall, as well as offices, restaurants, cafes, bars, and an observation deck. Experts predict the King Angel of Peace will attract more than one million visitors from around the world in the first year after its creation. After several years, the number of tourists will increase to 3.5 million. According to organizers, this will have a positive effect on the local economy. To date, small sculptural ensembles of the King Angel of Peace have been installed in 30 cities in Russia and abroad. A King Angel of Peace monument was unveiled in 2007 in the park of the 850th anniversary of Moscow. NTD News, Moscow, Russia. Today he's with me again today. A prophet of God, a true prophet of the Lord, 74 years old, still going for the Lord. I've known of this man's ministry now for many, many years. And to have him with me on the program is such an honor. Yesterday he shared some amazing things with us. I had uh, not expected to hear what I heard you talk about. Uh, frankly, very uh, overwhelming yeah. what you said. In 1998, the Lord led him to spend five months on the island of Patmos, the same island where John the Apostle received the book of the Revelation. And during these five months, the Lord spoke to him about events that would take place all over the world. Much of these events are taking place already, such as the earthquake in Asia. He saw that the Twin Tower collapsing in New York. He saw that and so much more. Let me read something that is absolutely amazing before I introduce him again. He saw in this vision an angel of the Lord called the Angel of Asia and he showed you uh, that the days would come where great earthquakes would take place in Asia and here's what you wrote, strong earthquakes all over will take place. The sea will cover the earth. You saw that, I saw that. in 1998. Mm. Mm. And then you saw the Twin Tower in New York collapsing and you mentioned New York. Now, just in case somebody missed the program yesterday, would you just kind of repeat one more time what you said to us? In 1998, on the island of Patmos, you had a vision. You saw five angels. Yes. The first angel was the angel of Asia. With a trumpet, I saw the instrument of the trumpet like he's going to blow the trumpet for the last days in the world. And right there, the angel said, earthquakes will happen in China, Japan, 
India. They will be flooding all over and all the way down to Indonesia. Australia will have catastrophic earthquake also. Now what's amazing too, a few days ago, now yeah. you Protestant saints know that these programs are, are actually taped two weeks prior to when you see them because TV stations require we send them early. A week ago, a week before the, the earthquake. earthquake in Asia, in fact, you had a dream and you saw this earthquake take place. Also saw the following day you had another dream mm. and you saw the earth and, and earthquake in, in Switzerland. Switzerland. That ha hasn't happened yet. Never happened. So you're, yet. you're prophesying now on our program that there's coming an earthquake to Switzerland. Yes. Yes. When I saw that dream in Surabaya, Indonesia, just a week before this earthquake came, I couldn't, I was trembling. I had to sit in my bed and I began to tremble. I began to say, Lord, what's happening? Why did you show me this? He said, terrible earthquake coming all over Asia. Mm. Thousands will be killed. Right. What the angel said to you in Patmos, it's coming to oh, pass. The Lord said that to you? Yes. On June 20, 10 to 4 in the morning, I saw the five angels who came to me and spoke to me about different continents of the world. And I've written all that. But down. now the Lord came and said to you again that you will, that thousands will die yes yes i did see that but then of course i'm not a messenger of bad news i've been preaching good news all my life but the lord said in the midst of such catastrophe that's coming thousands and millions are going to turn to the lord jesus Amen. which is happening brother benny and in your ministry nigeria India, oh, man. nobody has ever you, preached the gospel to so many people like you have done and you're going to do. Well, and I'm ready to do more. I told the Lord, I said, Lord, to the ends of the earth, I'll go nowhere, where, no matter where he sends me, I'm going. Amen. The Lord says, go, saints, I'm going all the way. Now, let's keep talking about this amazing mm. vision you had. The first angel was the angel of Asia. The second angel was the angel of Israel. Israel. With a sickle in the hand. Time of harvest. Time of tremendous revival in Israel and the Arab world. But it's not going to happen. They're going to be fighting each other. There will be no peace between Israel and the Palestinians and the Arab world. Because they have refused to accept the savior the prince of peace so trouble is coming nation will be involved in it i even mentioned here brother benny in the day is coming united nations will collapse all in this vision god yeah, gave you because of the problem of israel and the arab world and look what's happening now we've heard all kinds of news what's happening with the United Nations. Much of what God showed you has already yes, begun to happen. It's coming. Now, you also saw the angel of Europe. I saw the angel of Europe. I saw lots of flooding in Europe. Lots of earthquakes everywhere. And I saw the Eiffel Tower in Paris collapsing because of a mighty earthquake. Indeed. And I saw flooding all the way down to Spain and Portugal many buildings destroyed and London will be terribly destroyed. I saw that. Now that's coming in the future. It's coming, yes. Uh, then you saw the, f the fourth angel. Where? The, the, no, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, let me see. No. The angel of Asia, then, oh, Africa. Israel, the angel of Africa. Africa with a sword. He, he had a sword in his hand. There's going to be flooding all over Africa and fighting nation against nation be killing one another then you saw an angel over america the angel of america angel of america had a deep bowl with judgment in it terrible judgment in fact if i would read a part of that where Please. it says about america it's really it's really frightening where it says there's so much 
no justice anymore. In America, no justice. And it says, no righteousness, no holiness, idolatry, materialism, drunkenness, bondage of sin, killing innocent blood, killing all these babies in America with abortion. God can see all that. And so the Lord is so angry, there's judgment coming in America. So I quickly begged the Lord, can you not wait for a little while? Don't pour it. Give it chance for repentance. The angel said, many times God has spared and has spoken, but they have not listened. Now the time has come. The end is coming and there's going to be great judgment on America. But at the same time, I'm rejoicing on every nation. The angels said there will be the biggest revival the world has ever known. Can you talk about that? I believe the time is coming that millions are going to repent and get on their knees, cry to God for salvation and they're going to find deliverance. Years ago I spoke to a man in Germany and pointed out that the time for the next world war is closing in on us. It will be happening soon. Well, he, he answered to me, no, no, that can't be. Russia and the West are, are, uh, are partners, they're, they're friends. Look, he said, Putin and uh, uh, Chancellor Schroeder, they're, they're friends. Well, Putin and George Bush profess to be friends. But the interesting thing, when President Putin warned his friend, George W. Bush, that there was going to be a terrorist attack on the United States, that they would be using airplanes, George Bush paid no attention to the warning. And then after the attack, George Bush lied to the whole world and he said, nobody in the government could have any idea that terrorists were going to use planes as a weapon. If you understand who really was behind that attack and the attacks in London on July 7, 2005, then you will be able to decipher the message of President Dmitry Medvedev when he spoke of the recent, the attacks, the bombings made in the Moscow subway and the subsequent bombings, the attacks on Russia. As one of the Russian government experts on terrorism said, these attacks are, are an act of war on, against all of Russia. President Medvedev, in a recent speech, said these attacks were organized by a North Caucasus Islamic group that is linked with that organization known as Al-Qaeda. If we understand the origin of Al-Qaeda, we'll understand we're not dealing with an independent group of terrorists, but we are dealing with covert false flag operations of one state against another. Now we can begin to understand how close we are to the next world war. And what is most frightful, I will say this, we know from Catholic prophecy the next war will be brief. That's the good news. There will be a world war. That's the good news. The bad news is what happens after. In the prophecy of Zachary, the Armenian Jew who converted to the Catholic faith, published in 1854, that the edited text of the prophecy, the revelations that he re received from God, uh, Father Fatacelli compiled the 
prophecies and published them in a book called Day of Anger, The Hand of God Upon an Empire. That empire is described is in its geographical dimensions as occupying the space of what is the Soviet Union and China. 